Hello everyone, it's quite rare that I do these kind of recordings, but in this video, I want to show you my analysis of the upcoming eclipse that happens on September 21st of 2025. Now, in my view, this is an exceptionally rare eclipse and one that can potentially reshape and dramatically change our, our societies. So it's eclipse that I want to build awareness around, not to spread fear around it, but just to spread uh, awareness around it so that you can be better prepared of what I see is potentially a large change on the horizon for our societies. Okay, so let's uh, let's get into it. Now, in any eclipse, eclipses are series. And every eclipse has an every series of eclipses has a first eclipse. And so the initial eclipse of this, what we call sorrow series, happened on 19, 19 July 1917. And this is a sorrow series 9 south. This series is related to activates long-term worries about loved ones health or issues with paperwork or communication coming home to roost. So it's an eclipse related to health, worries about health, or worries about communication problems. And so what we see here in this original eclipse, we see that the eclipse point in Cancer had a Tajika conjunction with the planet Saturn, which is an indicator of loss and disease, the planet Mercury, and the planet Neptune. So it was a Saturn-Mercury-Neptune conjunction eclipse. Now what happened? Well, many say that the Spanish flu started in 1917. We know that from 1918 to 1920, there was three years of very intense uh, pandemic where young, many young people lost their lives. So the special thing about the Spanish flu was one, it was the greatest pandemic the world has ever seen up until the current day because 5% of the population died. And it most, mostly hit young people, which was surprising because mostly elder people die, but here it was really targeted to younger people. Made it, made it very difficult for people to stomach seeing their young loved ones uh, perish. So <clears throat> here, the effect of this eclipse, which says something about it, here it caused a great pandemic. Okay, just something to keep in mind that this eclipse does tend to uh, cause some health issues. Okay, now let's go over uh, the most important part presentation, and that's this actual eclipse. Now, here we see the astrological makeup of the solar eclipse of September 21st coming up. We see here the eclipse point is in the axis Virgo Pisces. Okay, The Virgo Pisces axis is the 6th and 12th axis in the horoscope. 6th is about diseases, about enemies, and the 12th axis is about the effects of that, the losses that come out of that, whether you recover quickly, whether you suffer big losses from your enemies or diseases, or whether it's more benign. Huh? Now, this eclipse is strongly signified by a harsh, almost to the exact degree, of opposition of Saturn from Pisces, Opposite, oppositing the eclipse point to an exact, almost exact a minute, okay? It's in the same degree. So that's uh, not a good sign. It means this will be a painful eclipse. Could be quite painful, okay? Because it's a harsh aspect and a harsh opposition almost to the exact minute of the eclipse point in Virgo. Again, also, Neptune is, oppos is opposition to one and a half degrees. So Neptune is hostile again to this eclipse point, to one and a half degrees. Okay. Neptune is about 
is a very spiritual planet. Saturn is a planet of lack of disease. Neptune is about loss. Neptune is a planet of deception, of spirituality, but also of poisons. Okay? So, it's oppositing this point once more. In the original eclipse, it was conjunct. Here is its opposite, which is not very um, positive. Now, what's so rare about this eclipse is that all the ex the outer planets, the big civilization changing planets, Pluto, Neptune, and Uranus, are all aspecting this point. Now, Uranus is um, is trining it. And Pluto is trining it, but still, the fact that these points, Saturn is at almost 29 degrees, Neptune, one degree, Pluto, one and a half, Uranus, one, all these outer planets with Saturn are not only aspecting themselves, but are also aspecting the eclipse point. Now, the last time this happened where the four outer planets, meaning Saturn, Pluto, Neptune, and Uranus, this, ha this is extremely rare. Some astrologers said it had, the last time it happened was 500 before Christ. Okay? That's how rare this thing is. And so, this eclipse has the potential to, unfortunately, because it's in the 6th and 12th, because the, because the sorrow series is about health and worries about health of our loved ones, and because it's opposite by Saturn to the exact degree and opposite by Neptune, it is quite likely that some adverse health event of quite large magnitude will affect our society. So this could be another major pandemic, but this time, this thing will be actually dangerous. You know, I was very, when, when COVID hit in, in 2020, even to go the governments took radical actions, I didn't see it as a serious threat to the health of humanity. This time, I do see it as a real threat to our health. This one could be real dangerous. So, um, I would caution everyone around this period, especially starting the end of August, that's when the eclipse season will really hit off, to be very cautious, okay? Saturn is in Pisces. Piscean is the ocean. Neptune is also water-related. So it is possible that in the ocean, some event will happen. Could be a biological weapon. Could be just something that happens in nature. Uh, but it's possible that the oceans will be disturbed, causing all sorts of viruses um, and affecting uh, uh, the water, affecting the animals in the sea, affecting the, the, the um, animals that eat fish. And from those animals in particular, the sea animals or the sea fishes could come a new, a new pandemic it uh, could be influenza, it could be a an, an, uh, COVID strain, it could be many different things. It's hard to know exactly what it will be. But the chances of a, of a pretty severe event that, will had, has, that can really cause damage to our health, the probability of this is indicated by the chart. Uh, it's also indicated that this will have a big change on our society. This, as always, the governments, of course, will use this event to impose new agendas and all that. But most likely, uh, this event will change our society in a pretty radical way. So, whether this is a new pandemic, this is a biological uh, attack, uh, I don't know. Nobody really knows. We'll have to see and find out. But I do want you to be very aware of any news August, September coming out and take it very seriously. You know, Neptune is also deception and secret, sec secrets. So it's not unlikely that governments or whoever's in charge will try to, you know, hamper down on panic and maybe delay the news flow or the communication around these things. And so uh, we have to be very skeptical and be quite cautious about the news flow 
as it also indicated in in the the, the sorrow series problems with communication and uh, open your eyes and be very cautious you know i would you know i myself you know i never i always almost never wore a mouth mask but i will get get some this time because this thing could be dangerous okay so you might want to get some out mask. You might want to get some clean water just, just to be on the safe side. You have these things. Get prepared for, you know, get your basic set for flu intakes, flu things. Get your supplements, you know. Make sure your immune system is, is beefed up. Next couple of months, do some extra work on health, on cleanliness, so that your immune system is good going into this event because ultimately we have to rely on our, our own immune system. There's nothing you can do really to 100% protect yourself. The best thing is to build up your immune system. And then when you get sick, you, you take immediate, immediate measures. But in any case, um, there is a potential health event coming up that could be sizable. Um, and so I want you to have awareness so that you can protect your loved ones when it hits, that you, you don't panic. You're not blindsided by it. Another thing is that... Um, this will most likely also have quite substantial economic effects. Uh, maybe there will be shutdowns or other, other measures being implemented globally. So obviously that's going to have an effect on the economy. So I would also urge people to take, do not go all in on risk. If you have a lot of risk in your portfolios, then to lighten up on the risk load going into this particular event. Um, Another thing I also want to say is that because the aspect comes from Pisces, which is a very spiritual sign, and because Neptune is involved, this thing will be very faded. To me, it feels like this is the acceleration of the tribulation period we're in, the end time uh, period described very accurately in the Bible. And most likely, it will also feel that way. It could feel like a punishment, a judgment from God. And, you know, it is, kind of. So it's also a period where the good thing about event is this event will most likely bring a lot of people closer to God, closer to the divine. People will start praying, taking their scriptures once again more seriously. That will be the good thing that most likely will come out of the event. But it could be intense, could be hefty, and I encourage everyone to build awareness around it so that you can protect your loved ones better. That's um, pretty much what I want to share with you. I'll leave it at this for now.